Hey everybody, this is Brendan with JMAR Technologies. And if you're watching this video, I want to thank you and hope that everybody's being uh, safe and healthy. And uh, we wanted to make this video to kind of keep everybody updated on uh, what we're doing and what our plans are for the future and, and hopefully to help everybody uh, stay prepared. So thanks for tuning in here. Um, what we're going to do today is hopefully keep this very quick. I just want to kind of go over a quick recap of uh, what's happening and keep everybody updated. Um, part of that's going to be uh, you know, being prepared uh, post-virus for, you know, what JMAR is doing as well as uh, what we hope to help all of our customers with um, and the transportation industry in general. And I want to share with you the available resources that we have uh, uh, currently, which would be mostly on our website and, and through calling us uh, to help you get through this time in the plan for the future. And then uh, lastly, do a quick uh, equipment overview so you can see what it is that we're offering now what do we have available um, that you can use to uh, help get called up uh, when all this is over so like I said hopefully we can keep this quick so uh, right off the bat I wanted to say where we were before all this uh, virus uh, stuff started happening is we're like many of you were preparing for a busy spring count season everybody was amping up uh, everybody was buying equipment and kind of making plans to get all these counts done uh, and it was kind of business as usual which at this time of the year for our industry is typically a lot of fun and a lot of work so um, but where we are now uh, obviously with all this stuff going on we're here for you uh, all of JMAR staff most of us are working remotely um, so there might be a couple extra phone call transfers getting bounced around but you still call the same number uh, we're here to help you with everything we can um, and we're prepared currently for what we anticipate to be a backlog of traffic count work uh, that's something we're hearing from a lot of our customers we're seeing articles on the internet we're seeing all types of stuff about what is going to happen with transportation when this is all over and all indications are there's going to be a lot of work that needs to be done um, so we want to make sure we're prepared for that and we are here uh, and we hope to help you be prepared uh, and then where we will be when this is over um, helping you every way we can that that's where we're going to be we're going to be right here doing everything we can to help you guys our customers and then if any of you are uh, Elvis Presley fans you'll know that TCB that's taking care of business in a flash that was one of his his mottos and that's something that we're going to uh, kind of adapt here you know get everything done get it done quickly and uh, get everybody helped out so along the lines of being prepared uh, there's a couple different approaches we've kind of taken and on the left you see the the black and white JMAR logo there and that basically it's a lot of text but the idea that behind that is it's a sensitive time to be talking to anyone about buying equipment or you know um, or spending any money it, it, it's tough and but we also as an industry need to be realistic about the future and uh, when this is over there's going to be work that needs to be done and so we want to navigate it sensitively in the sense that you know a lot of people don't have money and they're out of work and companies are struggling but we also want to say hey well, we're going to pull through this and when we do there's going to be a lot of work and we need to be realistic and be prepared for it one of the examples of that is um, the image here with the red border on the right which is um, an example of public transportation post virus uh, there's going to be a fear of that and um, and with that the people who have the ability to drive who have cars but maybe choose to commute into the cities on trains and buses they're gonna start driving their own car so you're gonna see the regular increase plus you're gonna see some unexpected increases and I think the unexpected part of that is uh, what's gonna be interesting because as a transportation data collection industry we're gonna need to pick up on that and we're gonna need to notate that and we're gonna need to um, have that type of information collected and counted uh, so we know what's happening and uh, we can make any adjustments so that's an example of what the future is going to be and how we need to be realistic in you know uh, planning for that future and that backlog of of traffic data so some of the available resources we have here uh, now this is just a quick video from our website so a lot of you might be familiar with the website uh, but I want to play this so I'm just kind of talk along with it so I apologize if I um, lose the spot but on on the 
on the website, I want to show you what we have available. Of course, we have all of our product stuff available. And, um, but from a support point of view, those are the things I'm really interested in showing you guys because we have tons of stuff that not a lot of people or not everyone utilizes software support, hardware support, all of our manuals and videos. We've written papers. We've answered frequently asked questions. You know, all that's on our website. Uh, sales contacts, uh, states, extensions, email addresses. That's not something we've always had on our website. Um, we some of us even have these little uh, individual pages there. You can take a look at that super handsome guy there. Uh, so we have little pages about ourselves. But most importantly, we have more direct contact information than we've had previously. So you can spend less time trying to find out who to talk to. Uh, and of course, our software support contact information is there. And then all of our social media posts we also have there. A lot of people use our social media sites, uh, but we also, anytime we post something, it goes directly to the bottom of our website as well. Uh, getting a little bit deeper into the support part of it, all of our software programs can be downloaded right from the website. So that's new programs, new purchases, and updates. Um, to your current versions. Software uh, support, we have a support page for every uh, program. We've got all the current versions listed so you can stay updated during this time without having to purchase or, or call us. Um, then you get into our hardware support. Uh, these pages you can drill down into forever. So just a quick look at the Apollyon support page. You can see there's all types of drivers to be downloaded and understanding things and uh, it'll just kind of go forever. Something that people use a lot in the field are the tube layout page um, or pages so you can click here and you can either select a tube layout that you know you like and it'll zoom right to it um, or you can just, just simply scroll up and down and, and see the ones that work best for you so I know a lot of people bring that up on their phones out in the field so as you can scroll down you can see there's all types of stuff all types of hardware support uh, very detailed um, you can dig through that, especially if there's hours where we're closed. Uh, but we've got our manuals uh, there too, so all PDF versions of our manuals for all of our products and programs you can download right onto your phone. Uh, our videos, the best place to see those is our YouTube channel. That's where they go first. That's where they're posted first. But then eventually uh, they do make their way onto our uh, video page here. Uh, so you can see all types of promotional videos. You can see tutorial videos. You can see helpful videos like these, uh, the moisture prevention and, um, you know, setup videos for the radars. Uh, so we try to keep those updated and there's a lot of them there. But like I said, a YouTube channel is a great spot. Uh, but you can get to the YouTube from our video channel there, or our video page. Uh, these helpful papers are things that we write down uh, that kind of help answer some of the common things that come up. There's GPS, there's you know Federal Highway Classification and different types of class. This is my favorite one, tube length and tube spacing. Uh, that's a pretty useful paper. So. Um, you know, click those and read about those. This questions page is kind of a neat thing that you could do on your own or some of our sales reps will even bring you to this page and walk you through these questions. These are just things to kind of help you think about what type of equipment you need. I won't scroll all the way down here and ruin all the fun for you, but I, I would recommend going through there and going through some of those questions. Um, and then our big one that we use a lot now with all everybody working remotely is the quick support. Um, this is so our customers, you can see our screen, we can see your screen, whatever the setup we wanted to set it up to. Um, and we can help walk you through, troubleshoot things and show you new things uh, right there on your screen. So those are just some of the resources that are available right there on the website uh, for everybody to utilize during the workday. And then like I said, of course, during the weekends and nights, if we're not here, you're going to find a lot of your information right there that can hold you over until somebody is here the next morning to answer the phones. Um, so now what I want to talk about is, is kind of the equipment overview and, and anticipating this backlog of traffic I was talking about um, or traffic work and kind of go over the best solutions. Um, right now, the radar traffic counters are the best solution to get you guys uh, caught up and uh, up to date with your work. They're fast, they're easy, very little training, very little downtime, uh, and of course a lot safer. Uh, so I want to go over some of this stuff with you. Uh, our tube style counters, they're great. Um, you know, especially now that we can do bike and, and the, the super specific bike and vehicle axle uh, classification. We have a new software program out. I'll show you quickly. Um, 
now's a good time to learn that. You know, if, if you do have some downtime, now's the time to buy that program and to learn it so that you're not having to struggle through a learning curve uh, when you do get back up and running and you have a bunch of stuff on your plate. Uh, distance measuring instruments, I'll show you those. Those are just flying out of here. There's still cr uh, construction projects going on, uh, and I think people are taking advantage of little traffic where they can do some of these things that would have taken them longer uh, and then of course the accessories those are going to be the big things that a lot of people need um, and you know we're fully stocked so I'll go over that uh, quickly as well so the first thing I want to show you is uh, this will be the longest little bit and it's just a couple of minutes but this is the the black hat radar recorder um, this is going to um, allow you to do a lot of your traffic counts quickly and efficiently uh, and of course accurately uh, you're not going to need any tubes but the whole point of this is that it's light it's small it's fast it's easy you know you get a long battery life and it's going to allow you to get out there and get some of this work done real quick um, lane configurations you do one lane in each direction that's residential and your standard roadways also two lanes in the same direction with lane separated data which is a big part of it. Uh, you're actually going to know what's happening in each individual lane. Uh, lane markings aren't required, so if you got your big, as you can see here, residential neighborhoods with no markings, you've got uh, dirt roads, gravel roads, uh, you don't need to have them all marked out, it'll just see the vehicle's uh, safety. Obviously that kind of speaks for itself. Why be out on the road? Um, you're not going to have to go out and measure, you're not going to have to spend any time out on the road setting these up. And we have what we call a live view feature that will actually allow you to verify all of your parameters that you put in there so you'll know that everything's going uh, going well before you leave. So here's a quick slideshow. I'm kind of clicking through that. You can see there's the battery. It's just one connection inside the unit. It's just kind of a plug-in, and then you connect to it with your uh, laptop via Bluetooth, secure it up, and that's it. You're ready to go. I mean, most people are setting this thing up in five minutes or less. Uh, it's going to collect everything in one data set. So your volume, your direction, your timestamps, your speed, uh, length class. So it's going to measure all the vehicles, the following distance, uh, which is also the gap data. And all of this while giving you lane separated. Uh, so you're actually going to know not just, hey, 100 vehicles went this way. You're going to know 75 are in this lane, 25 are in this lane. Um, I'm not going to make you watch a video inside a video here, but you can see on this page we've got a bunch of uh, setup videos. That's a real, the setup video that we just scrolled past is really cool. I recommend that one. And then we go into how to use the program in the software, and you can kind of click and see how easy. I mean, these vi these videos here are just a minute or two long. Um, on the Black Cat page, you'll be able to see all the sample reports. Um, here's a little bit more about the unit itself. It's in a Pelican brand case. If you're familiar with that, you know that is the most durable uh, case you can get for any situation. It's lightweight, watertight, and kind of protects the unit. Um, all the Black Cats come with two batteries, so that way you always have one battery in the unit. You've got one battery charged uh, back at the office, so that way you're never uh, you don't have any downtime, you know, swapping out batteries and charging the units and things like that. We offer a couple different bundles. Uh, the most popular bundle is bundle number one, and it includes literally everything you would need. So it shows up on your doorstep. You can take that box and just walk it right out to your car and go out to the field and start counting because it has everything. It's the software, it's the Bluetooth, it's paired up, it's installed. I mean, it's literally you walk out, it's ready to go. And then if you have some of the other components already, like you have the field laptop, um, there's different bundles that can account for the things you do and, and don't have. Uh, that's a, pr a quick image of what the bundle is going to look like. Uh, we did have one of our customers kind of do a quick calculation on the costs and uh, you know they found that 10 tube counts uh, could cost up to three thousand dollars and those same 10 count locations with the black cat radar would cost you about five hundred dollars. So you get um, you know more for your for your money so the radar is going to cost a little bit more up front but you're going to save that so quickly and it's going it, to pay for itself right back um, within your first uh, few counts really by all the accessories and time and safety and all that kind of stuff that you factor into it so that's the black cat that's what I, I'm recommending as the go-to unit uh, post virus to make sure you get caught up on everything that needs to get caught up on um, 
this is our tube counter. A lot of you guys are familiar with those. Um, this is the Traxial Polyon Plus 2. It's our most popular counter. We do have the standard Apollyon, and then we have the Apollyon Plus 2. So I'll show you here the difference is that the Apollyon Plus 2 does everything the standard Apollyon does, which is all your speed, volume, class, gap, uh, all your different layouts. Uh, but this also adds two features, one of which is GPS, and the other is the ability to count bikes. So we're talking about bike trails, dedicated bike lanes, but also dedicated vehicle traffic, and most importantly, both things together, vehicle and bike traffic, and it's actually going to separate out the bike traffic into a separate column of data. So many features within these counters, too many to mention here without boring everyone. Um, ones that really stand out are the no battery maintenance. They've got built-in lithium batteries. You don't have to charge them. You don't have to change them for usually about five to seven years. So you don't ever have any downtime with that. As I mentioned, we've got our GPS verifications built in. And one of the ones that gets that doesn't get enough credit is the built-in sensor diagnostics. These counters are going to tell you out in the field without being connected to a computer. It's right there on the display screen. Not only if your tube hits are working, but how well they're working. Um, and if you've ever done any field work, you know what that means. That means that you're going to be able to see if your tubes are functioning properly, if you need to make any uh, changes to those before you leave the site uh, and increase your productivity and, uh, and the success of the count uh, dramatically. So that's the tube counter information. Um, here's a little glimpse at the star next. There's We've literally done videos, seminars, webinars, tutorials, conference presentations I mean you name it there's so much to be said and that goes into this program it's impossible to capture that on a website uh, or even this quick little um, video we're doing here so I just want to acknowledge that this program is here it is currently available uh, for purchase it replaces the tracks pro software uh, that a lot of you are using you can go to our page here you can see more videos about it this is uh, on our YouTube channel this is just the tracks pro playlist so you can start to scroll through this and see or I'm sorry a star next playlist you can start to uh, scroll through this and see all the star next videos that we have so not a ton of text and information on here simply because there's too much to to put down there so uh, but I would recommend you get this program you upgrade from Trax Pro and then you spend some of this downtime figuring out the program um, getting past any learning curves you might have uh, and being prepared to use that going forward because it's a really helpful uh, powerful program uh, the DMI's these I mentioned before are just flying out of here um, they're always a big seller, but there's been something about this. I, I guess if there is a silver lining to this virus is that there's a, there hasn't been much traffic. And a lot of these construction projects throughout the country are still going on and actually have doubled and tripled in speed um, to, to get them done before the traffic comes back. So we've got a couple distance uh, measuring di instruments here. We've got the Rack Plus One and we've got the Rack Geo. The Rack Geo is a GPS based unit. It's literally plug and go. It's our uh, most popular unit. So it's got its own page, a lot of text here, but uh, it's interesting to scroll through this and see all the features that, and how you can use this for all different types of projects and all different types of industries. Um, the Rack Geo actually has a memory feature that allows you to save your work as you go along and export it into our Rack Pro software. And an example of that would be a sign inventory study. And we have a sign inventory bundle you can watch this video and see more about. Uh, essentially, you map, you save and track everywhere you've been. You've put in um, key markers for uh, different uh, elements, whether they be road signs or um, sewers and you know all different key things like that. And then the, the unit saves that and exports it to the software. And at the end of the day, you end up with a nice map and a spreadsheet and essentially a database in the software of, of everywhere you've been and everything you have and an inventory of all that. So you can see why those are being used a lot right now. Uh, the web store, this is the best place to check out our accessories and this is going to be something that's going to be big. Uh, accessories are always getting sold obviously um, but coming up to the end of this virus orders are already coming in at a rapid pace uh, people are getting prepared for what they're gonna need so you go to our website jmartech.com you click on the store 
Uh, you'll see we've got all of our road tubes and tape and nails and spikes and all of our DMI accessories. So uh, pretty much uh, all the accessory stuff that we offer, download cables, you know, things like that, that's all going to be available here. Uh, we're fully stocked. We're ready to go. We're already shipping out large orders all around the country to get people ready uh, for what they know is coming. So I would recommend the sooner the better you go on here and start putting it in your accessory orders um, to be prepared for when the, when this traffic comes back. Uh, you're going to need to uh, be ready for that. So that's kind of our accessory. Again, you go to our store, which is on jmartech.com, and you can pop it all in your cart right there. So wrapping things up here, the next steps, what we want to do, um, go to our website. These were all pages from our website, so you can go through and see those for yourself. Just click the links, click the videos, see the sample reports. Our website has so much information. Uh, some maybe say too much information, but uh, you can just dig through and just start drilling down and seeing all types of stuff, learning all types of stuff. Uh, I want to make sure you guys plan ahead. Think about what's going to be coming up, what you're going to be needing, what you're going to be needing to accomplish that, and give us a call because we will walk you through helping you plan. That's what we do. If you own our equipment, if you need more equipment, you know, let us know where your locations are. I had a guy just last week email me a map and say, hey, here's these locations. Here's what I need. I look on Google Maps, I find out what the roads look like, and I tell him everything he needs, and he's good to go. So that's part of what we want to do for you guys is help you plan ahead. Um, beat the rush. That's an important part of this. Uh, that's one of the main points of this video is just to say, hey, get your information in there. Like I said at the beginning, it's a sensitive time to ask people to buy anything or to say that you need to prepare this way. But the reality is the world's going to move on, our industry's going to move on, uh, and it's going to get pretty busy when things kick back in in full gear. So if you're in a position to be able to purchase equipment now and prepare, uh, now would be the time to beat the rush. Uh, and give us a call. Uh, we're happy to go over any of this with you. Uh, lastly, as I saw, our contact information, um, Monday through Fridays, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. We are working mostly remotely. Uh, we do have people in the office, so we are processing orders and you know, doing all that, but a lot of our guys are working remotely, but they're here for you. So uh, give us a call. Don't hesitate to call. We have our local number and our 800 number. Uh, and then, of course, our website, jmartech.com. And then hopefully we'll be back to the normal soon. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. Like I said, all of the contact information is right there on our website now for your individual sales rep and support. And, and again, I hope everybody is staying sell, uh, safe and staying healthy. And we look forward to uh, talking to you soon. Thank you.